Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can mix oils to promote faster and healthier hair growth. Now, this will help you to achieve fuller, thick looking hair and essentially also help to regrow hair in balding areas, thin areas, and also this can help you to prevent your hair from falling out. Now, if you're not already mixing oils and using it on your hair guys I would encourage you to start and this is just an example of what you can do to help you on that journey it is so amazing um, when you use oils on your hair to promote hair growth because it actually works and I, I am a testimony of that basically because I do use quite a bit of oils as well so please make sure you watch the video and you watch till the end because I'll show you exactly how you can do this and also tell you a bit more about how you can use it at the end of the video and also give you some tips on how you can retain length as well that has helped me on my hair growth journey so to begin with you're going to need a bowl or an applicator bottle whatever it is um, that you need to mix your oil in so I'm using my hibiscus and rosemary infused um, high growth oil here uh, but you can use whatever oil that you want guys there's so many different types there's argan oil that is also pretty good for your hair jojoba oil um, so so many different ones so I'm using this you can even use a DIY oil that you've made yourself um, but I prefer this because I know what's in it basically and the ingredients are super amazing when it comes to just like stimulating uh, new hair growth, thickening your hair and just pro pro uh, providing healthy hair growth. So if you're interested in this oil, it's available on my website. I will link it in the description box down below so f please feel free to check that out. So I'm just adding a little bit of that oil of this um uh, rosemary and hibiscus infused oil to um, to the bowl next I'm going to go in with my again aloe vera hair growth oil this is also available on my website so please feel free to check it out if you are interested so I'm going to add just a little bit of that as well I'm just eyeballing um, but you can add as much or as little as you want really so there's really no need for measure for measuring I would say so after adding that i'm now going in with some um, castor oil so this one doesn't have any label guys because it actually came directly from the source so i actually had it shipped out to me and castor oil is also very good for your hair it helps you thicken your hair and when you apply castor oil to your hair guys you instantly see the difference like feel the difference it is so good on their hair so i will be using two tablespoons of castor oil just because it's pretty thick and I don't I didn't want this oil to be like too thick if that kind of makes sense I love to do this um, with the oils that I know because I know what ingredients went in those oils and it's not anything that's going to be harmful for my hair or scalp um, so next I'm adding in a bit of vitamin E oil now vitamin E is also very good for the skin um, it's, it, it's, it's, it's great it's great for the health of your scalp in general and also um, just great for your hair as well so I'm adding a few drops of this oil next I'm gonna go in with some essential oils now it's super important to incorporate essential oils in your oils if you're using them or even in your DIY treatments it is really really good for your hair essential oils help to improve the blood flow to the scalp area which in turn just helps to stimulate new hair growth and just provide you with healthy hair in addition to that some of the essential oils like tea tree essential oils have antibacterial properties which helps to keep the bacteria away from your scalp which essentially prevent like scalp infections and things like that now as i always say your scalp is so important guys it's where your hair grows up from so it's super important that it is as healthy as it can possibly be if you have some scalp issues it's just a matter of time before the hair that you have on it actually falls all out um, so it's very important that you maintain your scalp as healthy as you can so i'm using some rosemary essential oil and peppermint as well as tea tree essential oils but there are so many other essential oils available that can also give you great benefits like lavender essential oil is also a pretty good one um, but these are my staples and I tend to stick to these ones I mean if you've been working with me for a while you will know that these are the essential oils that I would go for because they're just really good and they have worked for me so I added about 15 to 20 drops of these essential oils each 
and then I'm just stirring the whole thing just making sure it's nicely combined and then there you go you have your oil you can make this if you made it in a in a picotta bottle you can just close your bottle do it and use it when you need it really and this is so good for your hair honestly super amazing now I'm going to give you a little tip if you are going to use it um, straight away or even if you're not going to use it straight away anytime that you want to use it make sure you warm up the oil before you use it guys it gives you a really nice soothing sensation on your scalp but also it can help you even increase the blood flow to the scalp area again so to warm up this oil I will be doing the double boiler method please do not put your oils in the microwave um, just because I feel like it will kill some of the nutrients in the oil the microwave it's okay for even for food like honestly I'm pretty sure it's not a hundred percent okay even for food because it probably kills some of the goodness in our foods okay so do the double boiler method it will help to, pres to preserve the nutrients so um, after doing the double boiler method guys once you've checked it and saw that it always was a bit warm take it off just like you saw me do there and then you can go ahead and apply it straight to your hair so i will be applying this to my edges the rest of my hair including my scalp um just making sure that it is pretty much covered you can use this oil as a hot oil treatment if you want to or you can use it as a hang of oil just like what i'm doing here so I'm applying it to, to my edges just so you can see and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I give my scalp a good massage. Please, please follow through with scalp massages because that's also very important because it increases the blood flow, which again brings more oxygen, nutrients to your follicles and increases your chances of actually growing hair. Now my edges have been rocky a little bit as of lately just because i did do these braids that you've actually seen on my hair guys but i kept it in for so long and when i was working out i would always have this hat on and i didn't actually realize that that was actually hurting my edges so yeah there was a time when i took these braids off my edges fell out i could literally see my hair in my hand so i'm actually trying to regrow my edges again um after they fell out after i had a baby you guys know if you've been following me for a while you would know that i did go through postpartum shedding and to be honest i don't even know if that thing is even avoidable but i felt like this time around it wasn't as bad as my previous pregnancies but yes i still went through postpartum shedding um but anyways i'm still trying to regrow my edges guys so i've applied it there and just like you saw i'm massaging as well just to make sure that you know um like i said i increase the blood flow always follow with a massage you can use this twice a week or even just once to be honest depending on how well your scalp is able to retain oil now you don't want to overdo oils on your scalp also because that can also cause build up and other issues to be honest so minimal is also pretty good so just like you can see here i'm also applying it to the ends of my hair just to make sure that you know it is coated and it is as healthy as it can be and all of that goodness so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple guys i hope that you will try this out if you have mixed oils before have you seen results from it like what are your experiences using um oils on your hair please share with me in the comment section down below thanks so much for watching guys i appreciate your support don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed watching please leave a comment as well and also share the video don't and also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys